How did you like working with Jim Cornette in Mid South? I got okay with Jim. I thought in later years Jim got to be quite a bully. I've seen him really bully people around that he didn't need to bully. Uh, but back when he it was with the Midnight Express, we did a lot of good business together. Sam Houston Coliseum, we did a deal where I was. I, I forget how it goes, but the boom, I was supposed to shave his head. And first, there was his, his cousin. They put his cousin up, the way, and I shaved his cousin's head. And then, if I shaved his cousin, and the next week, I mean, they they tell the story, right? Yeah. The next week, with Jim Cornette in a cage or something, boom. So I, I was in the uh, at the the finish, boom, we're in the cage. I win, of course. I'm going to show, get Cornette's head, shave his head. Got all the the shaving cream. Midnight Express, boom. They pour harb of me, pour harb of me, boom. I go down. They beat the hell out of me. They got my head all creamed up. They got me strapped down. They get Cornette gets ready to shave. Here come the baby faces. Hey! They run the heels off. I catch Cornette. He runs around the ring. I catch Cornette. Stuff him in the chair and shave his head, man. <laughs> Good finish, you know. That is. It's. I mean, and you're giving the fans what they want. They get to see him get his head shaved. Yeah, and everybody up. thinks they're going. I'm going to get screwed, right? I got the shaving cream. I'm like, no, I can't get out. I can't get out. You're going to hang them to the Calvary. They run him out. Cornette's like, oh, oh. There's a 360 around the ring. Mm, catch him. That's just a fun angle. Um, yeah, and that's yeah, it, yeah. It was a, a golden, the golden age. Well, WWF still a great business. I mean, how many people they have at WrestleMania? Record numbers. And, and WrestleCon couldn't believe. Uh, my daughter was with us, uh, Celia, and she was keeping track. I don't know, like twelve different countries. People from twelve different countries were there. Wow, man, yeah. it's, business is better than ever, according to like the amount of money that they're making and you know the the kind of crowds that they're drawing. So they're doing something right. Yeah, um, yeah, and people are watching AEW, and I, I guess the Indies are doing good. Yeah. I know the autograph sessions, you know, I know the autograph sessions and those folks stand in line and pay their hard earned money and they come up and they go, Hey, thanks, Hacksaw. I'm like, no, thank you. You know, shoot, without this, who would have thought after all these years of wrestling that as we all were worried, you know, as everybody says, well, you don't have a pension. We're more aware of that than anybody. Yep. <laughs> no kid. We don't have a pension. <laughs> How about health insurance? <laughs> yeah, not quite. Yeah. So yeah, everybody, especially my generation, what are we going to do? And when after you're too old to do the indies, who would have thought this whole industry of traveling around doing comic cons and wrestle cons and autograph signings and have folks stand in line and come up and tell you thanks for entertaining them? It's it's humbling. Before we move on uh, off of Cornette, I did want to ask you. You know, Cornette, you said he would like bully people, and one of the people that you know he kind of infamously hates is Vince Russo, and he is just absolutely ruthless with him. Who were you seeing Jim Cornette uh, kind of give a hard time to? Just the young kids. Okay. You know, no name guys. You know, because I think most name guys wouldn't take it. But uh, yeah, I've seen him scream and yell it. You got go get that. Just don't get it, you know. Oh, wow. a different way to do that, you know. And at least that's not my way. Especially a guy like Cornette. So many people look up to Jim Cornette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could be a little smoother, but that's just my opinion. He probably thinks I could tone it down a little bit. But compared to Macho, <laughs> I'm down, brother. I'm way down. <laughs> it's all relative, right? Absolutely. <laughs> 